How's it gaming guys? I'm Phil the Blanks and welcome back to Let's Play DuckTales Remastered. We are in the Amazon. We found a bunch of coins Very and much, apparently uh, for this. I found something. There's a carving of Manco Capquack on this stone slab and there's eight circular notches around it. Sounds great. Does it tell us how to find the treasure? Well, I'm not sure what it tells us, but I'm certain it's an important clue. Bless me, bagpipes. These coins I found will fit perfectly into those notches. Oh, you must have come across an ancient ink and poker table, Mr. McDee. How about I come down there and you deal me in for a hand? You come down here and I'll deal you a blow to the head. You're supposed to be keeping an eye out for trouble, remember? <laughs> All right. Trouble spotting it is. Launchpad. What if the images on these coins symbolize the various tribes of Manco Capquack's empire? Maybe if I surround him with them. Oh, I found them all, so that's good. Oh no, it's not working. Hey, maybe you need to say the magic words. Or maybe not. <laughs> Ooh, so this is very different from the uh, original game, but I'm, I'm, I'm for it. You know what I mean? We gotta update look something. Look at that! The ancient city of Manco Capquack! And that beam of light! It must be pointing to the Temple of the Clouds! But how am I gonna get across? Up here, Mr. McDee! But I thought you crashed! See, in the original game, he does help you. You go to the left, not the right. But, like, I thought you crashed! Oh, careful. Oh, that was easy. Oh, I'm just gonna stick around, I guess. <laughs> if Launchpad's gonna bring me the whole way there. Probably a bunch of secret hidden treasure right there. I don't care. I'm, this is too dangerous, man. Oh, classic NES music. So good. They did a good job on the soundtrack. And off we go. Oh, oh, I did it. I found the legendary temple of Manco Capquack. With a little help from your old pal, Launchpad McQuack. Oh, <laughs> oh, of course, Launchpad. I couldn't have done it without you. Now just hold on, and with a little luck, that scepter will be mine in no time. And anything over here that this is breakable. Okay, well, it's a good amount of money. God, imagine just walking around and fighting $404,000. There we go. This is very NES. So originally, Launchpad was actually right here. Um, and he would ask you if you wanted to go back to, to Duckburg. I don't know why they do that in the original game. I think it's to save your, your your money progress, but in this version of the game, they don't do that, which is good, because it's kind of a, a weird waste of time. Oh, so much money. And back we go. In the original game, too, there was a kind of secret way to get to the boss. I don't know if they kept that in this one. Ooh, look at this stuff up here. Oh, you know what? It's gonna be... Yeah, that's what I thought. Keep going. Go, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Oh, that was close. Yeah, it was up here. But do I want to keep going to the right, or...? I think if you go up here... Well, I messed it up. I just use him. Come here, buddy. There we go. Hmm. Check my map, I guess. Yeah, because in the original game, you go up here, go to the right, you'd fall down, and that'd be the boss. Because you'd have to originally pay money to get to the boss. This version looks like they might have changed it. Oh, maybe not? Oh, Miss Beakley! Yay! Mrs. Beakley, now where did you come from? Why, from home, of course. I had to be sure you were all right in this filthy place. Oh, awesome. Thank you, Miss Beakley. You're oh, always well, as good as you want, my dear. And Miss Beakley actually is voiced by Wendy Lee, famous uh, anime voice actor, uh, because unfortunately the original uh, voice actress, who I think her name was Joan Gerber, uh, she passed away. She had she had passed away a long time before this. Uh, and there, again, there are a few others. Uh, Gyro's, oh wow, yeah, just brings me back here. Gyro's one, so is um, Fenton Crackshell, which I didn't even notice the first time I played this game. I swore that was the original voice actor, but it wasn't. But we'll talk about them when we get to those parts. But um, the, the people they got to replace the actors, they did a great job of, of selecting people. Oh, damn, that was bad timing on my part. Ah, oh, missed it. Ooh, careful. We're pretty much at the end now, I think right here. 
Pretty much. Yeah, so the original game you had to like pay money to this guy. I don't think you have to do that anymore. Oh, 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 okay, that's a thing. I just made a million dollars. That is fantastic. <laughs> I destroyed a priceless statue, got some money out of it. That's how Scrooge McDuck works. This game is very telling about how the 1% has all the advantages in life. <laughs> if you or I did that, you know, the police would come, come for it. But no, Scrooge McDuck did it, so it's fine. Oh gosh, careful. Oh gosh, oh gosh. Oh my. Oh my. We're good. Oh boy. Ooh, that was dangerous. Yeah, and birthday cake. You always got a birthday cake right before the boss. Here's the boss, I assume. No, not yet. The level's a little bit longer. I'm okay with that. When you're gonna remake a game for the NES like this, like, you really do have to add more. It's like when they made uh, Mega Man Powered Up. That's just an NES game with very few levels. So they added two new Robot Masters and, like, a bunch of modes and unlockables. Like, that's what you gotta do. You can't just randomly port. Unless it's a collection, then, then it's different. Then you want to preserve the the original stuff, you know what I mean? And that's why I'm upset with Square when they did the Pixel Remasters, but they didn't actually keep any of the extra stuff that's been added throughout the years, but whatever. That's a discussion for another day. Ooh, I'm being really crappy at this. Oh, damn, okay, no, my time is, I gotta kill them. Please don't, thank you. I need another birthday cake. Okay. We are good. Yeah, there we go. Yes, perfect. We're good. We're fine. Scrooge is gonna be. Ooh! <laughs> this is one of the secret. Oh no! Ooh, extra life! Oh, I'm okay with heart containers. I know that there's like secret extra. Ooh, ooh yeah. The secret extra treasures in the original game too. So I want to get as much as I possibly can. Yeah, they really um made this longer. I'm super okay with that. That's great. Okay, I think we are. Yeah, we're there now. Here we go. Boss time. Well, there's the scepter. There it is, the king's scepter. Well, <laughs> oh, this was easier to find than a penny in a parking lot. Catch me, kilts. What was that? Oh, oh, jeez. Ah. I love the DuckTales boss music is so good. Like, good good remake of it. Oh, damn. Okay, so if this ground is shaking, I can't do my pogo properly. Which makes sense. Ooh! I guess the bosses have changed and are new and different. Uh-oh, what are we doing now? Oh, crap. Oh, crap. Yeah, like I said, it's been ten years since I've played this when it first came out, so I don't remember a whole lot of it. Oh, crap. Oh, crap. Oh, crap. At least they don't do the whole room. I imagine if there was just like an instant death, you're dead. Like, it doesn't matter. Ah, shit. Yeah, I did not make that. And smack. How many? Oh, it's starting to crack. Oh, there we go. One more round of this. This game also has a, a much easier way to do the pogo. You just have to hold the button. I'm almost just holding uh, Y on the controller. In the original game, you had to, like, hold down and B, which is very weird, but this, they make it a little easier. And it makes sense just to make that easier. It was a weird kind of thing that they did in the original game. Like, why do you need to hold two buttons to do it? All right. Let's take him out. Let him jump. Oh, oh, oh. Ooh, that, ooh, that straight up hurts you. Holy crap. That was, uh, that was actually surprising. Oh, damn. Invincibility frames. Darn you. Come on, let's do this. I'm an old duck and I've got things to do and fill up my taxes. Does he does he pay taxes for the findings? Like, like if you're on a you hunt for treasure, do you have to pay taxes on that? I can't imagine in Canada you do. Maybe in America? I mean America has like winnings taxes, which I find really, really weird. That's not a thing in Canada. If you win a contest or something or the lottery, you don't pay taxes on that in Canada. But you do in America. So whenever you hear like they won this much on Price is Right. It's a lot less than they actually won. I don't know what the percentage is, but a decent chunk. Uh, oh, careful, 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 careful. Should be the last round, though. 
try not to let him uh, hit me with that gigantic smashy bit that he did last time. Hopefully. There we go. Okay. Uh. Oh wow, no. You're still going, man. Holy nuts. This is better than just making them like take three hits or whatever it was in the original game. It's gonna hurt your head there, Mr. McDuck. Okay. Let's end this. And damn, missed that. There we go. Got him at least. Thankfully, though, the extra heart containers are definitely gonna help me out. Huzzah! Oh, and now, um, yeah, launch pack can get me. This place has fallen to pieces. No, I'm not leaving without that scepter. Oh shit! Scrooge, don't do it. Don't get golden get fever here, like you did pack. in that one episode. I can't believe we came all this way for nothing. And you still had a million dollars. Did I lose that when I died, actually? What's the meaning of this? Outsider, <laughs> our prophecies have long foretold that our ancient city would one day be returned to us. For hundreds of years we have waited, and at last that day has come. You mean you're not mad at me? Mad? Quite the contrary, feathered one. Is there anything we can do to repay you? Well, now that you mention it, uh, I did come here looking for an ancient scepter. I didn't suppose... Does it look like this? It fell from the temple. Oh, they're climbing for nothing, eh, Mr. McDee? Bless me, bagpipes, the scepter of the Incan King! It is yours. Take it and go in peace. <laughs> Bye. After all, it was just the old king's back scratcher. <laughs> so I love how, I love that's the voice for him. I like how each of these could be like a full episode in like the original DuckTales. Like that could be a whole 20 minute episode of the original series. Good job. They did such a good job with this. Next up, what do we got next? Himalayas next, I think? Oh no, Transylvania. Oh good, I got to keep some of my money. Oh no, I gotta keep it all. Okay, the down thing is, is before that. I collect the scepter of the Ink and King, King, a million bucks. Difficulty modifier. That's how taxes are done in uh, Duck, Duckburg. Yay! Wow, 2.8 million dollars. One level. Technically the two. The scepter but... of the Ink and King. I tell you, boys, there's something special about this treasure. It's really, Uncle money. Scrooge? Yeah, it just looks like an old back scratcher to us. <laughs> you boys need to learn some respect for the finer things in life. Now, if you're done having fun at your old uncle's expense, help me decide where we should go next. And, oh, I can actually walk around here. What does this do? Oh, oh gosh, I left. Well, that's probably not good. Oh, oh, here's for this. So, do I buy concept art? Your car has not been unlocked yet. Spend more money on gallery purchases. Oh, okay, this is where you spend your money. All right, well, I don't want to do that. But I think, I think, I think, I think. Come on. Loading time with the Wii U is garbage. Go into your, yay, into your money bin. Oh, it's not very big. Good job. Oh, yay! <laughs> Whee! Oh, that's so ridiculous. I wonder if you get, like, does it go higher as you get more money? I hope so. <laughs> that was Scrooge. All right, onwards. Onwards to Transylvania. Let's go. Oh, good. No loading time. <laughs> I hate when things load so long for a menu. It's so frustrating. All right, Transylvania. Pack your bags, boys. We're off to Transylvania. And we're no coming back without the coin of the Lost Realm. Why would you bring... Why would you bring them? I mean, in, in the game, they were there, too. So it makes sense. Oh, there's Webby. Yeah, she was in the original one, wasn't she? She was in the um, African mine, too, so... I think it's an African mine? There was a mine in the, in the game. Oh, jeez, nice dance. Good dancing. That's a creepy-looking friggin' skeleton duck. Holy crap, I don't like it. 
Holy quack. <laughs> That's what I'll start saying. Oh, that looks so good. This is it, kids. Draculesti Manor. Home of the legendary Drake Von Vladstone. Heir to the coin of the Lost Realm. Boy, it's kind of creepy out here, isn't it? Uh, Uncle Scrooge, we're not going to break into this guy's house, are we? Yeah, of course not, Louis. This castle has been abandoned for centuries. Hey, look at this. The Junior Woodchuck Guidebook says Drake Von Vladstone was best known by his nickname, Count Dracula Duck. <sighs> Is there really a monster in there, Uncle Scrooge? Ah, uh, don't be silly, Webby. Yeah, there's no such thing as Dracula. Right! Uh, he is right, isn't he, Uncle Scrooge? Uh, of course he is, Louis. Vampires, banshees, and mischievous spirits are just a lot of superstitious hocus-pocus. I mean, you guys have literally seen these things before. In DuckTales, so... <laughs> but you better stick close to me, just in case. And Oh, you can explore up here. Probably not anything way over there. Oh man, they just follow you around too. I find, I don't know what it is, but I find um, Dewey's blue is a little off. Maybe that's just me. The red and green look fine. For some reason, I find the blue is just a little bit off. Also, Webby looks huge. I think it's because she has the big bow, but it makes her look so much taller than the others. Boing. It's a shame they never made DuckTales 2. I said that before, but I guess if they did, they should have went with, um, if they were going to do it, do the 2017 version of the now cast. That would have been really unique. Put and keep an eye on Wee Webby Gale. I'll be back with the treasure in no time. Aw, oh, nuts. We want to come with you, Uncle Scrooge. Don't worry. I'll be back with the coin before you can say E Pluribus Unum. E Purple Bus Whoom? Yeah, I'm not sure that's as fast as you think it is. Besides, why should we have to stay here just because Webby's a big chicken? Yeah, we're not afraid of... Oh, whatever's hiding out there, uh, are we? You boys are so mean. I'll show you who's not afraid of the dark. Wait, 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 wait. Webby! Oh, oh, they even have no. unique animation depending on which Dewey, one it was. That's Dewey, pretty good. Louie! Will they be alright, Uncle Scrooge? Not this episode. Of course. Everything will be fine, my darling. Wait here and I'll be back with the lads lickety split. All right, off we go. You stay there. Oh my god, that music is so good. Wow, it's good. It's got like a funky vibe to it. I'm into it. I'm into it. Oh, really? Ah, good call there, Uncle Scrooge. Yeah, we won't get very far. we are only got like a couple minutes left. Maybe I'll just die because I'm doing so badly. Um... Do I, do I warp right away? No, I don't get the warp ability. Or ability, but like I can't warp right away. It's later on in the level that I can start warping around. Boink. Oh, ooh, okay, well that's helpful. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go! Well, that's not helpful at all, damn. It does not last very long, does it? No, it does not, wow. Money, money. Let's see if I can break a million per level, not counting the uh, the big treasure, you know? Uh, we go left or right, left or right. I know that up is where we need to go, and I think to the right is just a little hidden -y place, like a secret optional area. So we'll do that, maybe, and oh, cool. And then we'll call it a day. Oh, you can see the, um... Oh, you can't jump on the ghosts? I thought you could. Uh, you can see the uh, cool, um, minecart in the background, which is also part of the level. Okay, now I'm just gonna avoid the ghost, just because, oh... Could just because my pogo wasn't hitting the right spot or something, but... I feel like you could just jump on them. In we go! Almost done. Almost done the day. Oh, wow! Did such a good job. Schmuck ya. Oh. You... Can I hurt the heads after I schmuck them? Oh, I can, so I can't actually defeat them. Nice. Um, and over here? No? No, oh, I told them what there would have been. Whee! Oof. Ooh, it's actually, like, really dark, actually. <laughs> like, really dark. More than I thought it would be. Careful. Okay. Yeah, yeah, I saw you coming. Don't like it. It's spooky. It's scary. Ooh, let's go up. Okay, good. Nice. 
easy enough. Just hold the button. Not hard to do. Not hard to do. Oops, something's happening. Uh-oh. Oh, hi, Huey. Oh my god. Hello, Beagle Boy. I think they were in the actual game, too, to be honest, like this. Ooh, their invincibility time lasts a long time. Yeah, I would say that sounds like Bouncer. I'm out of here. Bye. Ooh. That wasn't a ghost at all. It was a Beagle Boy in disguise. Trying to beat me to my treasure, no doubt. But it'll take more than just an old bed sheet and flower dust to frighten off Scrooge McDuck. Look, Uncle Scrooge, that Beagle Boy dropped something. It's an old piece of paper. Twist me, Tartan. It's an ancient rune. You mean like a magic spell? Aye, lad. At least part of one. Gee, I wonder who tore it into pieces. We'll worry about that later. Right now, I want you to head to the front door and wait for me. I'll be back once I've found the treasure. Off you go, lad. I do like how um, they make all the optional areas in the original game, like, mandatory, with all the little extra collectibles. I actually really like that. Um, but with that, though, this is probably the end of this area. We'll go back into... Uh, oh, 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 ah, oh, damn. I'm going to keep going. I missed all the treasure, though. Oh, it was worth it, I guess. I got two red diamonds instead of a, a red and a gold. But this will teleport me back to the beginning of the level. We'll call it a day. Perfect. With that, guys, I'm Fenlon Blanks. I'll see you next level. Hey, thanks for watching. If you liked this episode, click that subscribe button and hit the bell icon to know when the next episode is up. If you want to support my channel, share some videos with some friends and consider supporting me on Patreon.